हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस कोर्स टुडे वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विथ नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल पावर सप्लाई वी ऑल नो दैट द सप्लाई वोल्टेज वी गेट फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बोर्ड इज 230 थर्टी वोल्ट ए सी एंड मोस्ट ऑफ अवर इंस्ट्रूमेंट वर्क ऑन स्मॉल डी सी वोल्टेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर मोबाइल चार्जर दैट वी ऑल यूज रेग्युलरली इट गिवस फाइव वोल्ट डी सी आउटपुट दैट इज वी गिव 230 थर्टी वोल्ट ए सी टू मोबाइल चार्जर एंड वी गेट फाइव वोल्ट डी सी फ्रॉम इट वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ दिस कन्वर्शन टेक्स प्लेस दिस इज कॉल्ड पावर सप्लाय इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू स्टडी हाउ ए सी पावर इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू डी सी लेट अस हैव अ लुक एट द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ पावर सप्लाय द फर्स्ट ब्लॉक इज ट्रांसफॉर्मर This is a device used to step up or step down the voltage. For example, if you want to make a power supply of 5 volt, then this device converts 230 volt AC to 5 volt AC. As you are reducing the voltage, it is called step down transformer. The next device called rectifier This converts AC into pulsating DC. The output of rectifier is not pure DC. So to get pure DC or smooth waveform, we need filter circuit. Pulsating DC has both component AC and DC and as we need only DC, we need to filter and remove the AC component. consider this analogy when we prepare a tea we add tea dust in water and boil it after boiling we will not serve this directly with tea dust we filter it out and remove the tea dust because we do not want that tea dust and we use nylon net as a filter in the same way we want to remove ac components so we use filter definitely here we will not use a nylon net but we require some different electronic components to build a filter for ac component anyway so filter removes ac part and we get smooth waveform of dc another problem is it is expected that electricity board should supply constant 230 volt supply but there are lot of problems of loading and distribution due to which at the end we do not get constant supply this means if the input voltage changes the output voltage also changes for example if it is increased to 250 volt then we will get 5.5 volt at output if input decreases to 180 volt then at output we will get 4 volt however our aim is that we want constant output even if the input changes to solve this problem we need our next component that is regulator regulator will give the constant output even if there is a change in input voltage within certain limits in the lectures ahead we will see each component in detail and learn what role they play in power supply devices i hope it was great fun to get a know get to know each block of power supply device in detail let's enjoy this journey of power supply see you in the next lecture